What's up guys? I'm Johnny Highlander and this is your weekly wrestling recap. So today I'm just going to go over 10 better opponents for Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34 than Roman Reigns. We all know that Roman Reigns is being groomed to be the one to take the Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34, but I can think of multiple opponents who would be better for that match than Roman Reigns. And we're going to go over 10 of them right now. Number 10, Finn Balor. They were supposed to have a match at the Royal Rumble. That got scrapped due to some insane booking that the WWE did with Kane. And that match was turned into a triple threat between uh, Strowman, Kane, and Lesnar. Of course, Lesnar retained because they're waiting for Roman Reigns to take the championship at WrestleMania 34. But Finn Balor would be such a better fit. Finn Balor already has a built-in fan base. He's got a ton of momentum. And people would love to see Finn Balor take the Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34. He was the inaugural Universal Champion, and he only forfeited the championship because of injury. So this would just be a great end to the story, him getting the championship back, slaying the beast, winning the championship back. Finn Balor, number 10, better opponent for Brock Lesnar than Roman Reigns. Uh, <clears throat> number 9, the current United States champion, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is um, a great wrestler. Uh, he held the NXT championship for a long time. He had great matches with Nakamura, uh, Hideo Itami, uh, Roderick Strong, and there's no reason why he can't put on a great match with Brock Lesnar. Uh, Bobby Roode's glorious theme, glorious Bobby Roode is super over right now. So it would be great to see Bobby Roode take the Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34. Number nine, Bobby Roode. Uh, number seven, or number eight, Rusev. The Rusev Day chants are so over in WWE right now. It's ridiculous that WWE wouldn't take advantage of the momentum that Rusev has and put him in the match with Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. Putting uh, Rusev versus Lesnar on the marquee would just get so much more hype and so much more interest in this match than just having Roman Reigns, which no one wants to see, and we all know the outcome. Uh, this would at least make things a little more interesting. Uh, number seven, the man who forfeited the United States Championship, Dolph Ziggler. I'm a huge fan of Ziggler. The, the show off is just a great worker. He's a great seller. And uh, <clears throat> having Dolph Ziggler come and take down Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship would just be the story, the wrestling story of the year. Like, no one would see it coming. And then once he did take it, people would just go nuts. People would go nuts. Uh, when he did win the World Heavyweight Championship, uh, in 2013 from Alberto del, Alberto del Rio when he came and cashed in his money in the bank. The pop was massive. People were going nuts for the show off winning the championship. And there's no reason why it can't happen again. Uh, some people have been saying that they don't understand uh, Bra uh, Dolph Ziggler's new thing where he comes out with no ent entrance music and he's all pissed at the fans saying that they don't deserve him. I, on the other hand, think it's some of the best work that Ziggler has done his entire career. I love the whole pissed off attitude that he has saying that the fans don't deserve him. I think it's great. And uh, it was awesome that he came back at number 30 at the Royal Rumble. I just wish we could have seen a little more offense from him. Maybe had him be in the final four. However, putting Dolph Ziggler in this match versus Brock Lesnar would be awesome. People would love to see it. It would be better than Roman Reigns. Um, number six, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens already has been the Universal Champion. People would love to see him be a Universal Champion again. He's one of the best wrestlers in the world. If your name starts with the initials KO, then you're one of the best wrestlers in the world. Kazuchika Okada, Kenny Omega, Kevin Owens, they're all just phenomenal wrestlers. And it would be great to see Kevin Owens versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. And having him win it would just be a shock to the whole WWE universe. And Kevin Owens, he's a great talker. We could finally have a universal championship champion who could do his own promos. <laughs> so uh, number number six, 
Kevin Owens. Number five, the Swiss Superman, Cesaro. Cesaro is a great wrestler. He's a once-in-a-lifetime talent. Uh, Vince McMahon seems to have the idea that he could never be the face of the company because he's Swiss, because he talks with an accent. That's ridiculous. He's a great wrestler, and he can get over his charisma uh, via his wrestling in the ring. You know, uh, People always say pound for pound, he's one of the strongest guys in the WWE. Brock Lesnar is a, is a legitimate beast. He's uh, He's got legit cred as a UFC fighter. So it would just be great to see these two superstars go at it. And having Cesaro win the championship from Brock Lesnar would just blow people's minds. There's no reason why they shouldn't uh, put the championship on Cesaro. It's going to happen eventually. Why not do it now? Uh, number four, Braun Strowman. We've already seen Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar have a match at SummerSlam, but that match was not very good. Obviously, Brock Lesnar retained the championship and uh, kind of made Strowman look bad, took away some of his momentum. Uh, but now we can have Strowman get that momentum back and take on the Beast. The monster among men can take on the Beast incarnate at WrestleMania 34. Obviously, WWE is eventually going to put the championship on Braun Strowman, so why not pull the trigger now at WrestleMania 34? Get that news story of Strowman beating the Beast for the Universal Championship. People would love to see it. It would be better than Roman Reigns. Number three, John Cena. Now, John Cena and Brock Lesnar have had some great matches back in the Ruthless Aggression era when they were just debuting. Uh, but then Brock Lesnar took all his time off so that uh, he could fight in the UFC. And John Cena filled the role that Brock Lesnar may have filled if he had stayed there. And John Cena was became that 16-time champion, champion that he is now. And uh, let's give John Cena the chance to be a 17-time champion. Let's have him beat Ric Flair's record. That right there would be a great story. And we both, we all know that Cena and Lesnar can really go if they want to. So we, I think that Cena and Lesnar could just put on a great match together and really just be the highlight of WrestleMania 34 uh, if they did put John Cena in that match. It would be better than Roman Reigns. Uh, number two, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura is another guy who we've seen fight Brock Lesnar before back in New Japan. This would be a great sequel to the match that we had in New Japan. Now, Brock Lesnar did win the IWGP heavyweight title while he was over there in New Japan, and it would just be an awesome full circle moment when Shinsuke Nakamura wins the Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34. It would make the Smarks happy. He, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura already won the Royal Rumble, so he could just decide to take on Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship instead of AJ Styles. We all want to see that match between Nakamura and Styles, but I think equally amazing would be the match between Lesnar and Nakamura. And WWE is already building up Nakamura, and it would just be awesome to see the King of Strong Styles slay the beast, win the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. Number one, the number one better opponent for Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34 than Roman Reigns, Matt Hardy. All right. Woken Matt Hardy is super over with the fans. Him and Rusev are probably the two most over guys that the WWE has right now. Uh, when when Woken Matt Hardy comes out, everybody just starts chanting delete. I actually recently saw him here in my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska. I, I went to the Pinnacle Bank Arena downtown and uh, I saw Matt Hardy. He took on Bray Wyatt. He fought Bray Wyatt. And uh, he whooped his whooped his ass. Uh, Matt Hardy just took Bray Wyatt down a peg, which is great to see. And it makes me wonder why they allow him to beat Bray Wyatt here in the house shows, but then on TV, Wyatt always seems to get the better of him. But that's irrelevant. We can build Matt Hardy up. His brother Jeff has been a champion. Edge has Edge was like a seven, eight time champion. I don't know what, how many times Christian has been a champion. It's time to put the championship on Matt Hardy. It's time to pull the trigger on this. Everyone wants to see Hardy versus Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. I want to see Matt Hardy with that strap around his waist. He deserves it. 
and it's time. It's time to pull the trigger on Matt Hardy. So that's 10 better opponents for Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 34 than uh, Roman Reigns. And we'll just go over them one more time. Finn Balor, Bobby Roode, Rusev, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, John Cena, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Matt Hardy. Number one, Matt Hardy versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. I want to see it. We all want to see it. It would be the story of WrestleMania and the story of WWE for the year. So, WWE, book it. I've been Johnny Highlander. This has been your weekly wrestling recap, and I'll talk to you guys later.